guys, my name is Darren. I'm the head technician for Lorenzetti South Africa. And we're just going to show you the, the mechanics for the Lorenzetti shower heads. Alright guys, we've got the Bilobanya Ultra here. We'll be using this model to show you the general principles on how all the Lorenzetti products work. Alright guys, so this is what will come standard with your, with your shower. You'll have your electrical cable, you'll have your electrical end cap, and your temperature dial adjuster. You'll have a water flow reducer, which comes in your water inlet. You'll have a shower end cap, a hand shower end cap. Alright guys, and you've got the water spreader. If you open it up, you've got the internal water reservoir cap and your heating element. Alright guys, this is your earth wire, but we're going to get back to that now. As you can see, your heating elements over here, you can just unplug those. That's your heating element. Okay, then inside you've got your three terminals, which your element plugs onto. This little black diaphragm is your pressure switch that will switch electricity on once your water has pressurized. Okay, for this model, we've got our temperature settings on top. We have an off setting, we have a medium setting, and a hot setting. On all our products, you'll have a printed spec for installation purposes. Okay, guys, as well as a temperature setting, that's also a cover for our electrics. Please, guys, very important, this cover never comes off. The warranty will be void. But for training purposes, we will remove it, just to show you the electrics. Okay, guys, we've removed the cap. We'll start off with your temperature dial. You have one, two, three contacts. We have two terminal plates. You'll see your two wires are soldered onto the terminal plates and it makes no difference between live and neutral. Okay, back to the electrical wires. We've established that we've got a, a live and a neutral. The green one is your earth wire. Very important guys, this goes straight to your DB board on your earth bar. If you have a look on the inside, you'll see an exposed wire. That is your earth wire on your cold water inlet. Okay, if we turn it around, it's the same wire with another exposed piece on your water outlet. So this keeps your water earthed on the cold water inlet as well as the hot water outlet. This is your safety wire. If there's any problems, it will trip straight away. Okay guys, we've got a little water flow reducer here. This is in your cold water inlet. This serves two main purposes. One, it saves a whole lot of water. And secondly, it reduces the water into the unit. And it makes the unit more efficient. You must remember guys that the slower the water moves through the unit, the hotter your water will be. Okay, 99% of the time this will stay installed. However, on the off chance you do have very low water flow or very low water pressure, it can be removed. However, just refer to the installation manual. Okay, we're going to trace the water coming in. You've got cold water coming in. If we remove this reservoir cap, the water fills up on the outside first, then moves over onto your element and onto your pressure switch. And that switches on electricity. So when your water, you switch, you open your tap and the water comes on, you'll see it makes contact with the terminals and the plate. As soon as you close the tap, the water stops, contacts are broken. Okay guys, just to show you how the temperature works, I'm going to use my finger as the water. So we've got it on the off position. We switch the water on. You can see one, two terminals are broken. No hot water, just cold water will be coming out. If we switch the water back off again, we put it onto the medium setting. When we switch the water back on, you can see one, two terminals are making contact. The third one isn't, which means you only got one, two terminals working. Only half your element is working, giving you the warm water. If we switch the water back off again, we move it onto the hot setting. We switch the water back on, you can see one, two, three terminals are making contact, which means you've got one, two, three terminals on your element working, which will give you the hot water. In the Lorenzetti range, we have two different types of temperature dials. On the Bellobanya Ultra, it's an analog switch, which basically means there's predetermined heat settings. On this model, you see we've got an off, a medium, and a hot. All right, this is the Aquastar from my Aqua range. This is a digital temperature dial, which just basically means as you turn the dial, it just gradually increases your water temperature. Okay, guys, so two main differences between an analog and a digital temperature dial is that with the analog, you need to first select your heat temperature setting before you open the tap. So you're going to put it on hot, you're going to open your tap, and your water will come out hot. If you do find that it's too hot, there's two ways to adjust the temperature. Firstly, you can open your tap, which increases your water flow, which will reduce your water temperature. Or alternatively, you need to close your tap first, select the, the lower dial, and then open your tap again. Okay, the main reason behind that is that when the water is coming through, your unit is live. So if you have to 
turn your heat settings, you're creating a dead terminal to come in contact with a live terminal and you will see a spark. You won't get shocked, however you will over time burn the terminals out. Alright, with our digital range, you can adjust the heat temperature settings without turning the water off. Alright guys, you will see we've got a wide variety of products. Even though they all look different, they all work on the same principle. Please go onto our website to see our full range of products.